What's good, EYTBC? What's good, Fight Fans? Boxing heads around the world. B. Marsh with another boxing video. So, it looks like the WBC is going to order the rematch <clears throat> between um, Rung Versailles, Sarakad Rung Versailles versus Chocolatito. You know, these guys had a spectacular fight, probably my fight of the year so far. Um, this fight was on the undercard of that, that Triple G versus Golovkin, I'm sorry, versus Danny Jacobs fight. And this fight was a major upset since, uh, you know, Chocolatito was rated number one pound-for-pound pound fighter on the planet by Ring Magazine. And he took a loss to Rung Versailles, who himself was a former WBC champ. Matter of fact, you can see him down there below um, with a picture with the WBC green belt with, um, when he um, defended it against uh, Carlos Quadras. You know what I mean? That's how Carlos Quadras got the belt. You know what I'm saying? But Qualos Quadras, he got the belt. The fight was stopped on a technical decision because of headbutts and, and cuts. But he never gave Rung Versailles a rematch. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Same way Chocolatito didn't give uh, Carlos Quadras a rematch. Now, mind you, these three guys right here, Carlos Quadras, Chocolatito, and Rung Versailles, all three guys have faced each other. And all the all three of the, they fights were razor thin. You know what I mean? They were all close fights. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I thought um, Carlos Quadras versus Chocolatito was a draw. I thought Rung Versailles versus Chocolatito. I thought Chocolatito won that fight. Um, 114 to 113. Close fight. And um, the fight between Rung Versailles and, and uh, Carlos Quadras, I thought it was a close fight, too, that could have gone either way. I think it got stopped in, like, the eighth round. You know what I mean? So... You know, it was stopped on head clashes, so I think this should have been a rematch, you know what I mean? So, since these two guys are going to have a rematch, call um, Chocolatito and Rung Versailles for that WBC strap, then, um, Chocola I'm sorry, Carlos Quadras has been ordered to face the other challenger, um, the two highest rated challengers in the WBC for that uh, Super Flyweight title are Carlos Quadras and Juan Francisco Estrada. You know what I'm saying? And the WBC has also ordered that these two gentlemen fight each other too. The winner of Carlos, Qu Carlos Quadras versus Juan Francisco Estrada gets to face the winner of the rematch between Rung Versailles and Chocolatito. Man, this is a sweet little tournament right here, man. This is a nice little tournament. Reminds me of that tournament that was that was to be between, you know, um, Mike Tyson and, um, and Razor Ruddick and Lennox Lewis. And um, Evander Holyfield, you know what I'm saying? That was supposed to be the little tournament and the, f the winners of those fights meet each other. But of course, you know, Tyson went to prison and um, that that um, tournament didn't get, you know, we didn't get to see it like it was supposed to, you know what I'm saying? Or was it the, the winner of, um, I think, yeah, a matter of fact, Riddick Bowe, it was the, I'm sorry, it was the winner of Riddick Bowe versus um, Holyfield. You know what I'm saying? Was going to face the winner of uh, Razor Ruddock and Lennox Lewis. You know what I mean? Man, so, you know, this tournament right here reminds me of that. But these are the super flyweights. You know what I mean? And you see, now, whoever wins those two fights, they get to face each other. You know what I'm saying? You know, the WBC um, initially had said that um, Carlos Quadras um, gets to face the winner of Rung Versailles versus uh um, Chocolatito, you know what I'm saying? But now the WBC is going back on their word, you know what I mean? They're saying that the fight between Rung Versailles and Chocolatito was very close, plus they didn't implement a head-head-butt rule, you know, that, that it goes to the scorecards after four rounds, you know what I mean? And whoever's up on the scorecards gets to win the fight. They didn't implement them rules, you know what I'm saying? So the WBC has ordered a rematch, you know what I mean? So... I'm not mad at this little tournament, you know what I mean? And I'm glad they've thrown Francisco Estrada up in the mix, you know what I'm saying, just to make it interesting. You know, this super flyweight division, it's one of the best divisions out there in boxing, you know what I mean? The talent pool is deep. You know, you got um, who you got, Marlon Topolis with the WBO belt. You got Kaya Fai with the, uh, what does he have right now? Is it the IBF? No, the WBA belt, you know what I'm saying? And, um... You got a new no a newy. He has the WBO belt. You know what I'm saying. So you know there's a lot of talent up in this division. You know what I mean. 
lot of great fighters up in here, man, and I hope they all get to face each other, you know? So let me know in the comment section what y'all think about this fight ordered by the WBC, the win of the rematch between Rungvasa and Chocolatito gets to face the winner of uh, the next top challengers in the WBC Super Flyweight division. And that's Juan, Juan Francisco Estrada and Carlos Quadras. You know what I mean? Big Mexican matchup right there. Let me know in the comment section what y'all think about this news. And I'm going to catch you on the next vid. Be Marsh Boxing. I'm out. One.